everyone and welcome to Nat's Knackers Yard. Uh, I'm Nat and this is my Knackers Yard. Um, the lighting may be weird because it's dark o'clock, it's Friday evening. Uh, if you hear explosions in the background there isn't a um, an uprising in Watford. Um, it is uh, Bonfire Night um, or Diwali Festival of Light although technically that was last night but um, happy either. Uh, for anybody watching uh, in the US yes the Brits do celebrate somebody trying to blow up their parliament um, nobody can entirely be sure why. Um, I'm not going to draw links to uh, January the 6th in the US uh, for fear of uh, people making too many comments, but hey. Um, you'll see a big gap in Sting. Um, I do have the carbs out. Um, I intended to do a lot more this week, but it's just been, it's been manic. Um, the week back after half term is always busy um, with uh, the missus and the kids and new boss at work. It's all just been um, uh, fairly busy. So I haven't got what I wanted to do done with Sting, but I want to um, get hold of um, the carb this evening. I want to jump inside and do that in a second. Um, I've also failed to get new rubber, new tyres for um, uh, for Kermit, the uh, uh, ZX6R. Um, I'll, I'll give Hayden a belt today, I think, and see if I can sort out a time for them. Um, it is looking like I am going to end up, hopefully, if Sting works out nicely, in a position where I'm MOT in them together. But we shall see. But I do have one other bit of surprise news, and I'll cut into that now. And not really surprise news for uh, anybody on the Motorcycle Rescuer Facebook uh, group, but um, a surprise to some, Nat's got himself a compressor. Um... I've been I'm in an R in as to whether or not to to go away from rattle cans, and I know it's a very popular part uh, part of uh, of my channel, but I just think I've kind of got about as far as I can with them, and it's time to move on to something else. So, um, got myself a compressor. A little bit of research, not too much to be honest, but a little bit of research um, pushed me away from uh, a smaller one. Pushed me away from a twenty five litre um, because it just doesn't really have the volume for. Uh, painting a tank and some panels etc etc I probably could have got away from it uh, got away with it but frankly um, I got this dirt cheap second hand uh, and it's a 50 litre um, don't get me wrong it's loud as you like um, but um, it'll do me it's going to be my first attempt at it's probably going to be the last time you see it for a little while because um, uh, the hoses the spray adapters the various drills and, and bits and pieces that I want to get with it are going to be on my Christmas list. Um, so I'm pr probably not really going to get a decent opportunity to play with it until uh, after Christmas. But um, I'm really quite excited um, uh, because I do love my paint. I want to take it an extra level and I think this is the way forward to do so. But more pertinently uh, for the moment, uh, let's get inside the warm because it is bastard cold. Um, and we get inside the warm and I want to try and sort out the carb for Sting. Right, so we're in the kitchen um, in the nice and warm because it is November and it's bloody cold out there. Um, you will get background noise because this is a working house and a working kitchen therefore there's always a dishwasher uh, or a washing machine or both going at any one time. Uh, so these are the CB400 carbs. They are orientated as per on the bike so one, two, three and four. Now the issue that I've got this time is a leak um, so it is absolutely pissing out over the top of here so uh, the, the main fuel intake so because there's quite so much of it I'm pretty convinced it's not the join uh, I've done that as good as I can that is properly properly tight uh, without snapping the plastic underneath I'm convinced it is the join uh, the rubber grommets between the carbs um, the reason I'm convinced of that is because uh, I have replaced them, but I didn't necessarily have the right thing at the time. I used the um, the grommets that I had, uh, and I just don't think they were they were the right runs, or they have held. Um, so these are held together by, effectively, a long bolt there, uh, eight mil, eight mil, left and right, and ditto 
another long bar at the top under the slider there, uh, the choke slider, uh, which are 10 mil, 10 mil. Why they're not both the same? Because Mr. Honda doesn't like me very much. First things first though, what I need to do is just remove the choke slide. Um, so with my handy JIS screws, because these are JIS screws, and you can tell because they are across with a little dot on there, as um, Biker Stuff has educated us all on, um, which is good stuff. So you use the right screwdriver for the right end. I've got a little uh, takeout pot in the corner there just to keep my uh, bits and pieces in, because otherwise I will lose stuff. Or I forget where I put it. So just whip those off. Yeah. Get off your bugger. Little washers underneath. And then this is literally a bit of a twist and shout to get that off. Put that over the side and leave that orientate the right way or I will forget. Let's, uh, I tried to organise myself a little bit this time, which um, I'm not particularly good at. But I should have all the tools that I need to do this. <laughs> he says, with no confidence at all. started a little bit cack handy because I'm trying to do this for a camera rather than do it for myself so one to remember not that it makes a great deal of difference I think the solid end is on the left and that next to carb one the long bolt through I routinely tag these back on so that I don't lose the end that I need and put it down orientated the way that I took it off. So that's big and done. Let's go to slightly smaller end. Uh, no, sorry, that's small and done. Let's go to big end. Now I imagine this is orientated the other way, but you never know. This is going to jump everywhere. much for the drill. So I will go and get my uh, manually using the drill. So using the drill as a wrench which is probably very bad for the drill. probably about it. So I've got the full length on the left again. Let me just hoik that off. Again, sticking the washer on the end so I don't lose it because I am crap at that sort of thing. Right, now the only thing holding this together is habit. <laughs> so I'm going to have to start trying to split it, which is essentially wedging it apart. Now the bit to watch and this is a lesson learned from last time is the adjusters for the butterflies so if you're balancing adjusters are in the middle and there is a spring under each one. If you just wang this apart those springs will disappear at a rate of knots and you will not find them again. Particularly if you're doing this in a busy kitchen rather than a sterile environment within a garage. So I'm just going to be really careful. So what I'm going to do is find some bits and pieces in here, just wedge these apart because what I need to do is get in there. Uh, I'm going to start wedging and then I will come back to you. Right and a few twists and turns later you might notice fuel underneath. Obviously I had drained these but if you keep rotating them you'll find wedges of fuel in various places that you hadn't seen before. Now what I can see under, I'm not sure you're quite going to be able to see it, is that the spring on the um, balancing is 
fairly proud and is probably about to ping across my kitchen. So if I can do anything to alleviate that, i.e. flip it out first, like so, then why wouldn't I? Now I am being a little bit lazy here and I'm not going to go through the whole shebang and replace each one. Um, now there's a reason behind that is when I replace them I use one side with um, the correct uh, grommets because I had them and the other side I used what I had and that is the size that has failed. So I'm being quite careful not to split the whole body here because I don't need to. And using the ancient theory of if it ain't broke don't fix. Right and we're off. So what have I got as the issue? The issue I have is, let me see if I can Zoom you in slightly. There we go. Oh, crikey. Yeah, cancel it. Zoom you in. There we go. These are supposed to be one grommet, but I only had skinny ones, so I chucked in two. And weirdly enough, it hasn't worked. So, what have I got? What have I got to replace it now? Well, I was a. Uh, when in doubt, when you've got a problem, get new stuff and what I've got is a universal assortment here of o-rings and apparently they're professional quality <laughs> so I love that uh, there's something ultimately satisfying about how that works but anyway that's me just being anal um, now what I'm really struggling with uh, and predominantly because I don't have the manual for it but it doesn't actually say so in my other manuals for other bikes is what size they are so what I'm going to do is whip them off, grab my calipers and just have a quick measure and see see what it thinks he is and therefore out of this kit what's closest. So first things first, let's just wang uh, one end of this off. It's still pissing fuel. That's going to please the good lady. She loves the smell of petrol in her kitchen. Why, why on earth wouldn't she? Oh, pow. Right, so in fact, I'm going to risk the cold and the smell of fireworks. Uh, sound of fireworks. And open that door because it's a bit stinky. Right, so grab the old calipers. This is the sort of thing that I really should have done first time round. 7.9 mil ish 7.8 oh. 7.8 right now let's see on this kit if we've got anything nearby yeah uh, <laughs> wonderful Part number, ID, section 3.5, that's the number of them. I've got seven, and I've got a ten. So numbers four and five according to this one. Let's just see what they look like. Failing that, I'm just gonna grab what I can find. Uh, that's four, and that's five. Enough, it looks like I'm going for a double again. Because these are not wide enough to do as a one -er. But I think. Uh, actually, at least they're standing a little bit more proud than these ones did. Gone nice and flat. Get off. Get off your failure. See. See. Oh no, I'm not going to fit three on. I'm not that good. There 
they are definitely got more girth to them than the last ones which suits me and makes me feel good now I wonder if and just pushing that in that's looking pretty sweet now I wonder if I am well off just trying to put one on the end if you can see, no you can't see because I'm in the wrong place there Let's see if that end will we'll try three, should we try three let's see what happens with three just try and manipulate those in so they go nice and flush because I want them to bag out and fill out that gap what I want to do is lose that we should just have stay right I think that will do us so it's better than was I get a nice healthy seal there I'm just tempted to see whether or not I put a I'm going to have to shut that door because all of the fireworks now I just wonder if a flat washer which I don't really have Will give me a better seal so if we look at the other carb and the join between which is effectively yeah the lighting's not really good enough to see it uh, but effectively puts us on and jams us in mm. and I wonder if I go one larger Too big for that hole. No, can't go one larger. If I'm going to do it at all, it's going to have to be the same size that I put on there. Now I've got my little prodders. Now I wonder if that's going to squidge out of the way I think that is it's going to block the fuel hole um, which is not what I'm trying to achieve regrettably I feel like I'm trying to hook ducks doing it with this metal tool so that's as good as I can do put fresh ones of similar not quite what I wanted I wanted a nice fat you know I wanted something you know of suitable girth something a consa uh, but I just haven't got it so that will have to do now what I do have is some sealant so I wonder if I put a bit of sealant on the outside whether or not that will make a better job of it I am not sure I don't like if I put sealant on it it's not on the inside, it's not on the track of the fuel. I'm going to get a little bit of sealant and bang it on, I think. Right, so there we go. We are pushed back together, but not bolted back together. That is holding nicely. I've got a little bit of overspill of uh, sealant, which can only be a good thing. My washing machine and dishwasher are both going spastic at the moment. Um, I, I pushed the screw, uh, the screw, the uh, spring back in, which is a pain in the arse. <laughs> Uh, and I only fired it across the kitchen once, which wasn't bad, so really holding it up and um, uh, so really wedging it back with a screwdriver and then just manhandling that bad boy back in. Um, so yeah, better, better. Um, I must remember from where I have cleaned this before, my springs are very dry, so I'm going to have to put, remember to put some lube on those before they go back together. Nat, don't forget to do that, you fool. Right, competing with the washing machine ever so slightly now, so what I'm going to do now is just hoik the bad boy back together, squeeze it back in, uh, and hopefully 
a little bit of extra oomph, uh, a little bit of extra within that join. Uh, the fresh, slightly larger uh, rubber grommets, and uh, certainly better quality than I had, um, should help out. Um, let's just. So, what have we got? We've got a uh, working choke with no real issues. A bit squeaky, might need a bit of oil. I will remember to uh, lube all of those screw, uh, screws, sorry, the springs uh, before it goes on in the morning. I'm not going to try and put it on in the dark. Um, not because I'm not adventurous, not because I'm scared of the dark. It's chuck and cold out there. Um, and I'm a delicate little flower. So, let's give that a last pinch just to make sure that that isn't going anywhere. I'll try not to jab myself in the hand with a screwdriver, which is funny to watch but hurts like hell. They really can't get any tighter. Right. Is it going to hold? I've oh, no idea. Um, I really don't know, but there's only one way to find out, and that's to bang a load of fuel through it. And let's give it a go, shall we? Uh, still not convinced we're quite there, but it's a damn sight better. <laughs>
sit up and beg machine is. Mm. Just for the shits and the giggles, should we give Kermit a go? Now Kermit hasn't even tried and it has been bloody cold. Um, so I wouldn't be overly surprised if the battery is a bit zapped. Because my main bike's battery has been zapped, left the lights on as well, which ain't going to help. is officially happy because he has two bikes ready for MOT uh, I just need to get off my ass get it booked uh, and get new tires ordered for Kermit which I'm gonna do right now <sighs> sting you've been an utter pain in the ring retitled ring sting <laughs> um, but yeah seems to be seems to be happy again um, which is nice um, and even nicer is I've got a lovely carb that's wet on the inside, dry on the outside. <laughs> Cheers all, I'll catch you later on.